Well, I basically uh, am a film composer, film and television composer now. I've been doing that probably since 1990. And prior to that, I had the good fortune of being a, a LA session musician mm -hmm. for a, a better part of the 80s. So I did a lot of work in the studios, worked on a lot of records, I guess they were called back then. A lot of synth, synth work. Mm -hmm. I brought, I ushered in the, you know, the synthesizers with the, with everybody that was was doing keyboard work. So there was, and and I was involved in the transition from playing everything to sequencing. I did a lot of film dates where I would be the person coming in to do sequencing, and it was pretty difficult to do that back in the day. And now it's a piece of cake. So. So I was involved in that, uh, transitioned into record producing, and, and uh, I was always doing arranging for, for the projects. And uh, got a break to, uh, to work with Hans Zimmer, um, his first project when he came to uh, America to start uh, his, you know, his great run of, of work uh, as a composer. So that was, that kind of pulled me into the film world. Mm -hmm. spent, spent a lot of time with him at the beginning and branched off on my own. Uh, did a lot of television, uh, TV series work, The Outer Limits and uh, Poltergeist Legacy for Showtime. I've done a lot of stuff for Disney. So it's been, it's been a great, great run for me doing a lot of different things. And now I'm back into performing again on, on the organ. Mm -hmm which was my original instrument back in the early days. I was a rock organ player by trade before I moved to Los Angeles from, from Phoenix. Greg, Greg Lounsbury. Uh, I, I, I believe that <laughs> I bought a organ grinder, mm. or at least, in, I, I'm pretty sure that that's how, how it, that's the only detail I'm not uh, totally, uh, confirming, but uh, I checked out the organ grinder mm -hmm. and thought, this is really cool, and hooked it up and was playing around with it, and I really enjoyed it, but I realized that it was doing one thing really well, and I was thinking maybe if it, this could work at a little subtler, uh, be a little more subtle at the lower gain stages of, of, of the, the throw of the pedal, this could be really great for, for that subtle organ distortion that we get from the Hammond preamp that's in the, mm -hmm. the, the real Hammonds, the AO28. So I was, I was turning it way down and trying to, to adjust it to get it to work in that capacity. And I couldn't really get it. So I thought I'll ring him up, see what he's doing, mm -hmm. see if he's interested in maybe chasing this a little bit. And so he had, uh, when I got him on the phone, he had said that he was already thinking about making a device, and I think he had an, I think he had the tall and fat name as well. And he said, but, I, but I'm not quite sure how to take this to the next step. And I said, well, I'll work with you on it because I, I've got a pretty good handle on what I think it should sound like and, mm -hmm. and how it should react. Because mm -hmm. the whole thing needs to react through the, through the volume range of, of the, p the pedal has to, has to kind of change dynamically like, like any tube device would, would change as you put more level through it. So, and he was explaining to me uh, electronically how the gain staging works and that there's three, basically three levels or something where he can, he can actually make adjustments. So we went back and forth with uh, some prototypes and uh, he pretty quickly turned the thing around and, and got it got it to where I thought it was working really well at all levels, at actually clean and then t super, uh, or fairly grungy on this pedal and, and all the, the places in between. And I was, I was very happy with it. So great. It was a, it was a collaborative thing. I mean, it's, it's his box. He, he, sure. he did, he did most of everything. I was just, you know, R and Ding it for him. So. All right, so we're going to show the tall and fat in bypass with a very simple, straight uh, organ tone from the Nord C1 without any Leslie Sim. So this is basically a flat tone. 
Uh, this is without the tall and fat. So we'll introduce this, and that's also without vibrato. So as I increase the gain, so with that off, with the swell pedal all the way down so really adds that nice preamp sound. This is with vibrato where you hear the effect even more pronounced. With it on. And then full volume. Put that off. Oh, this is tall and fat with the organ uh, set with more of a, a full registration. Tall and fat's off at the moment and no vibrato. with the tall and fat on. It's a little strange without any vibrato or Leslie effect, but that's the pure tone. This is uh, with the vibrato, uh, tall and fat off. That's re this that's really the sweet stuff right there. With it off.